Hello. <clears throat> I got candy in my mouth. And it's good. Okay, I'm not gonna use a lot of, a lot of candy. I just... I just want some more of that coconut chocolate that I got. Because that was good. Ow. Okay. As I was saying, very nice to see you. Welcome to Candy and Chill Weekend Stream. Thing Majiggy. Where we eat candy and stream games. Little games. Easy games. Games that are like candy. Okay? No hard games. No, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I can't jump this. Oh my god, you little shithead, stop doing this to me. Today is all about relaxing. So yeah. Let's start with uh, the little acre. I've read it's a very short game. Why is, where is my mouse? Excuse me. Oh, I can use my control. I don't want to use my controller. I don't use controllers for this. Excuse me. That guy has a floppy belly, just like me. I thought this was going to be a nice game. I thought it was going to be cute and stuff. And look at it, it's all dark and... stuff. Well, that went to shit fast. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep, and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Okay. My boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. Uh huh. My trousers were just out of reach. What if we step on... What is this? Notes. I need to get dressed without waking Lily. Uh... And we will put on the boots and then, you know... I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. Alright, first we will go up. Can we get up? Can you at least get up from your bed, man? My trousers were just out of reach. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still pulling it. Lily was a sprawl of limbs, and my sweater was pinned beneath her. I needed to find a way to roll her over without waking her. I couldn't leave. I wasn't even dressed yet. You don't need to get there. You have, like, those big underpants. Morning, Dougal. Is it really morning, though? Hey, Dougal. Give me that stick, boy. Yoink. Huh? And we use a stick to get the trousers. Huh? Yeah. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Oh. Can we combine? Uh. I knew I could find a use for the stick, but it didn't involve boot. Boots? Check. Can we get out of bed now? <coughs> oh, it hurts things. 
Why did we get with Inky Breath the dog? Even with the stick. Look at her step by. I was trying to get her on my clothes without leaving my bed to avoid waking her, and throwing a stick at her was not gonna help achieve that. Mm. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, but I was still out of reach. Mm. What if we stick a sandwich in? I should be able to get the trajectory right. Ah, Dougal was happily grazing on my sweater. Good doggy. I had to wait until his mouth was open. Okay. Three, two, one, go! He wasn't gonna just let me take it. Oh. But maybe he'd be interested in a trade. Okay. Three, two, one, go! That was my cue to sneak out of there. Let's go! Whoever you are, Mr. Man. I've never played this game before. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. You had a few things to take care of? I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Hmm? Oh, so we're making breakfast. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. Mm-hmm. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. Hey. I think you relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. So, Lily sounds really scary. So Lily the is the name of my sister's dog. The were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. What? Lily chews through stuff? What a weird girl. <sighs> Dad, where are you? Dad left his jacket behind. Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside, or eating. Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Well, water is missing, for sure. It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. Let's find the slot, then. Lily left Sir Fuzz above here a while ago with strict instructions to report her immediately, if he saw her grandfather. Wait. Is Lily his daughter? If it was his dad missing, but the grandfather is missing. I didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Uh... Oh, it was a bit slow. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> oh. He looked like he had rifled through his belongings in a hurry. Either that, or Lily had been searching for clues. Oh, he searched for clues? He looked like he had rifled through his belongings. The rollerblades at Dad's transmitter were visible from his bedroom window. Let's see if we can get some water. Hey, look at that. Take no. into account Lily's willfulness. It was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport and definitely didn't require any modifications, despite what my father said. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was on his favorite place to have a picnic. Yeah, so Aini must be his wife that died. 
Because wives always die in these games, just so you know. Dear Aiden, thank you for your application for the position of repair clerk at Boylan Sons. I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. While I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering exper experience would be capable of the role, I should think you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation. Perhaps the new hydroelectric dam with your father? I wish you every success in your future endeavors. Kindest regards, Sean Boyle, owner and manager. Strange light? Unemployment rates and emigration on the rise. Rumors about abound regarding strange light in countryside. An end to petrol rationing in sight? Oh, it's a package from my father. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if I had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. I bet that crystal fits right in, in that slot on the other side. Yeah. My father had notions of turning to farming when he left his job. He never could leave signs behind. Okay. Let's go in there. Ninja what? What's a ninja? Do you see a ninja? I've had better ideas. Uh, I mean, let's look at it first, then put the crystal in here. Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? It's glowing. Three pounds. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. The label on the left indicated the electrical resistance of the crystal. So three pounds for crystal. So three, four. The funnel allowed for coolant to be added. Oh. We need water, but this is an empty jug. I don't think that would have helped. The oh, notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Okay, let's go find some water then. Where do you keep your water, guys? If I went back up there, I'd wake Lily. I did not want to do that. I think he relocated so he won't. You. Uh. The doors of the cupboard were we pretty sure Lily. Che I've had better ideas. Okay. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Uh, we need water, weirdo man. Oh, oh. <laughs> My father had notions of never. Mm. Where's your well? People had wells back in the day, right? Lead on my dad. But, uh, Mister, what's your name? A trusty bicycle was my name. Def I don't know what his name is, but we. I've had better. 
We need us uh, some water, Mr. Man. Hmm. I need to fill the jug with water. Yes, we sure do need to fill the jug with water, but where do you keep your water? Do you have a tap in your house? Is this a fire that's dripping or... I don't think... Starting already. something stripping can't go upstairs because I don't want to wake this girl apparently because she's a menace to society or something shortly after resigning from his position at the hydroelectric power station dad set up a few light bulbs in his room they were connected to a machine which appeared overly complex for the purpose of powering a few bulbs Orbs. the rollerblades of dad's transmitter were visible from his bedroom window What if we pee in the water thingy then? It looked like he had rifled through his belongings in that or Lily. Oh, hey Fergus. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> so you're supposed to follow me on what you call it. Connected to him. Lily left her full above here a while ago. On the tweeter. Because I always tweet her it out. And I did say... And I, I need water and... I mean, why can't we just pee in the water, right? I mean, pee the water in. Where do you keep your water, man? I can definitely hear dripping water, but where is it coming from? Or is it the fire? If I went back up there, and I didn't. But we need water, guy. What if we scare the girl up? I've had better ideas. Hmm. Better idea. Doug, can you bring me water? I've had better ideas. Can we scare a dog? I don't think No, we cannot scare a dog. I've had better ideas. Like is it just me or is is there really dripping water somewhere? I can't see it. Water. Get the water from the mop, okay? Dad's compactable footstool sounded like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Oh, nice. Was that his dad and his wife? Probably. I did see the drippy water. Yeah, I feel it like it could be two. Music down, voice up. Sound effects down, up a little. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Okay, 
guess that's the what proper pump. There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. Pump. The only music is quite loud. I mean, the music is nice and all, but... Oh, good job, genius. The pump handle had snapped, leaving <sighs> only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Good job, Dinkers. You broke it. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. Fine, I'll up music a little bit. Very loud for me, though. The door wasn't locked, but something was blocking Hello, the Hello, Jiskra. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd normally spend every waking hour in there. Inventing, tinkering, but it had been days, and there was no sign of him. Hmm. What kind of heavy things do we have? What stool? Is it not heavy enough? Mm. Nah. Why not? There was a solid block of. I've had better ideas. Have you? Have you really? The door wasn't locked, but something was blocking on the other side. Why did you put the handle? Oh. It looked like the pitchfork had fallen from its resting place. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I haven't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Mm. I couldn't see a thing, and the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things, made me nervous. Mm. I guess that's all we can do here right now. We got a pitchfork? Oh, he stumped the pitch, pitch hard the stump. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. Right. Well, well, well. I'm too smart for this game. <laughs> I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few oh, yeah. occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept. At least you got water now. Put in this generator thingy. There, that should keep it cool. What does this even mean? The whole wall was covered in writing. I don't understand this, it's gibberish. Huh? It's glowing. The whole wall was covered in writing. Uh, and the writings do what exactly? Mm. Nah. What does this even mean? Oh! Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? Go look at the pattern. It's one three 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 two. That would be one three 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 two. Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Ah, uh, that's why I needed the. With the machine generating power, 
There was some writing on the wall made visible by the light of the bulbs. Some of it was obscured by sunlight, though. Oh, yeah, that's why... Admit, some of Dad's inventions really That's why we inspired. pressed the button. <laughs> on Fira. Shortly after resigning from his position... They were connected... Oh. Well then. Not really sure what we're doing, but we're doing something. The machine was receiving power from within the house and was now transmitting something. Tomatoes, apparently. Speaking of tomatoes, I bought more tomato sauce, so now I can make a lot of spaghetti as well. Spaghetti is easy food and it lasts for a long time, so... I probably can eat spaghetti for the rest of the week or something. Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any closer to figuring out what happened to him, but it was the best lead I had. There was a hand-drawn map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam, where Dad used to work. Mm. There was a large machine in the middle of the shed, with what looked like sliding doors. Dad, you better not be stuck in there. What if Dad is stuck in there? Oh, hey, what's that? Good job, Fatso. I'll find a way to blame it on the dog. It's okay, we got a stool. What the? The machine appeared to have opened by itself. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration, or that it was simply as reliable as the stepladder. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. When in doubt, dance it out. The machine appeared to be waiting for... something. There was a small keyhole in the back, but like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. Mm. I think we got a dance. I wonder if we can go to town now. The hydro majiggy majiggy. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. So let's go wake her up then. All this power from a crystal. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I had found, but she was still asleep. Whenever possible, I try to avoid taking the blame for waking Lily. So what are we gonna do then? How do we wake up Lily? I don't think that- Hey dog. Dougal, I think it's your turn to wake Lily up. Yeah. Lily was fearless, even with the way she got out of bed. What's wrong with her nose, though? Sorry you had to take the blame for that one, Dougal. Uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Right. Uh... The secret dance routine turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box there was a small key where the tasty treat should have been. That is a girl. It's our daughter, apparently. <sighs> she looks like a troll though. Like one of those troll thingies. Boys from the 90s. Walk already, man. Dad converted the garden shed. Oh, yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. Th 
Excuse me. Looks about the right size. Hey! Too bad. Ah! Off to adventure with you. God. What's with that thing's nose? What is that thing? So hungry. Need breakfast. Oh, well. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. She has a very mature voice for such a little thing. Okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. Um. No, but this is my candy. The own candy over there. This is easy peasy. What was Dad worried about? Hey, Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. No. <laughs> Silly doggy. Oh, hey, doggy. Fine. Dog, someone's at the door. Hey, Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. Uh huh, stupid face. Um. That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? Ugh, Dad tied a knot around the handle again. He must be trying to keep you away from the bowls, Dougal. Doug, get a bowl. Dougal, attack that string! <laughs> okay, we got everything. I did this all by myself. Ooh. Hang on. Where is Dad? That is some weird kid for Shirley. Oh. Um, okay. For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So this is where you went. It was unusual to see dad without his hat and vice versa. But then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided to take it with me. And what's this? A glass jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like a good rule of thumb, so I picked it up. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm wild. The door's release mechanism wouldn't function without power. As well as being a fire hazard, it was extremely inconvenient for me. Well, hey, thanks for the host, Jackie. Hello. Come on, come on. 
Okay, let's figure this out. There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls, each containing an empty spherical socket. There was a pair of Okay, well, we have an orb. Whatever the rightmost socket was supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Hey, Spurious! Hi, welcome! Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Oh, someone could actually shout out Jackie and Spurious if they can. Someone, you know. Welcome to Candy and Chill morning day thingy. The lab had some power, but none of it was reaching the door release oh. mechanism. There was a pair of niche. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I think you have to shout out. Actually, write shout out. Maybe. Mm. Nah. Nah. Mm -hmm. The machine was dead. No matter how much I bang my fist against it. Mhm. Mm Thank you for shouting out our friends. Mhm. Mm Everyone can do it. Just powered up. Ooh. Go, go, go. Whatever um, the rightmost sucker was time. supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. Let's go, go, go. There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was gonna have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. <laughs> I hope you guys got candy. Mm, Dad must have gone to town without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. Wait, this little kid works? So, we meet again. Watch your back, gnome. Dad had probably already checked the post. Nobody ever sent us anything <coughs> interesting anyway. Hey! Heroes are good at saving people, but I never got a chance to save her. Oh. I'd only just left the house, and there was work to do. Dog face? What you shouting at? Dougal did his best to keep me out of danger. It was so annoying. <laughs> what the? Right where I left it. Uh I don't even girl, I don't I don't even Excuse me. I took the stretchy rope from the tractor. Every adventurer needs rope. That's true, every adventurer does need rope. Granddad 
Dad would have been proud of my giant slingshot. Uh, can we slingshot the bone? I needed to be sitting in the slingshot before waving the bone around. Oh, okay. Huh? I wasn't strong enough to pull myself back. Hey, doggy. I got a bone for you. Lily, shut up. Hopefully, we haven't missed any customers. Dad says we're running out of money. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. Thank you for the host, So until Bruce. then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze, you didn't pay for that. Yeah, Breeze, come back with my balloon. Good thing wings can't ride bikes. Oh, wings. Wait, if Dad's bike is still here, where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling, and I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the porridge. <laughs> now we got a sword. Dad's bike was by the wall, which meant he was still around the house somewhere. Hmm. Let's kill the gnome. Hiya! With gnome out of the way. I was free to start looking for Dad. Yeah, let's go to town. I'd never run away from home. Besides, there was an adventure to be had. But stuff. Dad had probably already. Nobody ever sent us. Mm -mm. Oh no, that's not right, Spurious. You're pretty good Fell at like stuff. A dream. I was being led down a path, and short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me, but I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power for the machine that brought me here. And I wasn't coming back until I found it. Yo, this thing is popping its eye out. That's nasty. <gasps> what did you do? Why oh, you gotta touch everything, man? It looked like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. Oh, there's something under the water. That's not nice. Okay. I don't say this often, but it wasn't the time for eating. What is time Google. for eating? Do you think we should have a quick nap? No, no, you're right. Okay, let's go to Grandpa's room. Nice. I tried getting Dougal to pick up Grandad's scent. No dice. Ooh, shiny. I probably shouldn't touch it. Hey, how come when I draw on the walls, it's a bad thing? No, I'm done. No quick nap for you. Fit, clump, fit, fit, Huh? Come on, Sir Fuzzlepuff. I'm on a new quest. Yeah, Puff Fuzzlepuff. Puff. Puff. I already looked through all of Grandad's clothes. Ding. Wherever he went, he took his hat with him. At least that ruled out alien abduction. I heard that's a thing that can happen now. Line goes up. Hey, the spinny thing is spinning again! Who's working in the shed? daddy -o working in the shed. There's always time for candy in stream, right? 
Do I still have some of those coconut chocolates? Or did I eat them all? Ooh, coconut chocolate, I still have some. I wasn't allowed to go into the shed, which made it the best place for playing in. I wasn't allowed to go in with... Grandad would pretend he did everything for a reason, but I think he just liked to decorate. Me borrowing a little bit of paper. Yeah, my sofa. Wow, I've never seen this thing open before. <laughs> hmm. Normally, I jump straight in, but this is something Granddad made. Mm, that was something I'm going to though. need a guinea pig. Doggy! Oh, maybe Teddy will be guinea pig. Godspeed, Sir Puzzle Puff. Whoa! He's gone! Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most fuzzy. Dougal, this must be where everyone went! What if something happened? I need to go after them! Let's go, Dougal. Before I go, I should leave a note somewhere so Dad knows where I went. Okay. Leave a note on the dog. Dear Dad, I went into the machine. Oh, God, she actually did slap it right on the dog, didn't she? As I wandered deeper into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees, to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. You're not in Kansas anymore, man. It's Puzzle Puff. Oh thingy. my god. Puzzle Puff. I'm adorable. I couldn't wait to see what Dad looked like. You, you look His the same. sacrifice will never be forgotten. This is Granddad's stuff. I knew it. The machine I came out of wasn't the same machine I stepped into. There was definitely magic involved. Somebody had made some holes in the wall. Usually, Holes in the wall meant Grandad was working. <laughs> the doors had crumbled, and creeping vines had woven their way amongst them. It was hard to tell which had occurred first. Hmm. What the hell is that? 
<clears throat> My apologies. I don't see many like you. Who... who are you? Mer... Mer? No, just Mer. I'm not sure where I am. Can you help me get home? Maybe help each other? Come, sit. You're a one strange looking thing. Oh. I want to live here. We don't want to live here, Lily. Whoa, Lily! You're breaking things! You're worse than daddy -o. Grandpa has been gone for a very long time. His tongue was even longer than Dougal's! Oh, whoa, whoa. My people lived here once long ago. They had machines, kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not work. Well, I'll take a look, but if I do, will you help me get home? By fixing machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Follow. Weirdo. All I got to say about that. Next to Mare's toolbox was a single peculiar glove. What is this? Whoa! Careful! Uh, sorry. Yeah, be careful, Daddy. -o. Hey, this looks like my father's toolbox. It is his toolbox. So he's been here. Have you seen him? Arthur. You have? Where is he? Took crystal. Stole crystal. Then left. Where did he go? Mayor appeared to be using my father's toolbox, although he wouldn't explain why he had it. I didn't want to press the issue. My main goal was getting out of there. What okay. is this place? Sacred place. History? And future. Your people wrote this? If you say so. Always been here. And then your people left? When? One hundred years? More? A hundred years? Mm. In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Hmm, it's not except in the same pattern as last time. I need to find the pattern for home somehow. Okay, let's find a pattern for home. Whoever had made the engravings appeared to understand the concept of traveling to other worlds like I had. They also appeared to place a lot of value in doing so. Whoever had made the engravings, they also appeared... A skittish indigenous creature was sitting on the flat surface in front of the pool. A 4x4 grid of small cubes lay at the bottom of the pool. I presumed it would display the pattern to Dal Home, but I wasn't sure how. E.T. Dal Home. Totally a ball. Mm. 
There was a large bulbous plant blocking a pipe at the top of the stairs. It felt like it was full of water. This is beloved. I've had better ideas. Let's mask it. I don't think that would have helped. Let's put the hat on it. I don't think that would have helped. You're so negative, whatever some, your name uh, is. Bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. Can we grab this? Love it. Whoa! Careful. Careful! Right, right. The crystal hidden behind the wall looks similar to the one I had seen earlier that day. Oh, the crystal is in there. I don't think that would have helped. Hmm. Does this radio also belong to my father? I wondered why he thought it would work so far from home. Does this radio... Mother? From what I could see, Mary wasn't going to get very far without a power source. I think this is a power source. You're not napping, Heimdall. No, bad Heimdall. Bad. Oh. Sorry, Mayor. Something happened. Wasn't me. Promise. Honest. Wasn't me. Didn't do anything. I picked up a screwdriver from the overturned toolbox. Mayor was busy tinkering with the pedestal's mechanisms. I imagine the ancient machines were the only thing that kept him occupied. Combined with the crystal, the globus is sufficient power source for the machine. Mm. Whoever had made the engraved, they also appeared to place a lot of value in doing so. Mm. A 4x4 four four grid of small cubes lay at the... Maybe the flower? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't you dare not. Uh, screwdriver. Let's screwdrive the radio. I don't think that would have helped. What? You don't think screwdriving a radio would actually help? <sighs> You're such a negative Nancy for sure, sis. Can't leave this place, can we? I would have thought it possible, but this machine was even less safe than anything my father created. I don't think that would have helped. I don't think that would have helped. Hey, Droplet. Hi. Welcome. I don't think that would have helped. I've had better ideas. Have you? Have you really had better ideas? A skittish indigenous creature was sitting on the flat surface in front of the pool. Does this radio also belong there? Mm. In front of the pool of shallow water, there was a small, flat surface. I would have guessed at a ceremonious function, but the entire structure appeared to have purpose. I've had better ideas. But that's a very good idea. I don't think that would have... <sighs> Why would the hat work there? Are you stupid or something? I've had better ideas. I'm creature. Does this radio also belong to my father? Combined with the crystal. Mare was busy tinkering with the pedestal's mechanisms. I imagine the ancient machines were the only mm. thing that kept him occupied. A 4x4 four four grid of small cubes left. 
I presumed it would display. I've had better ideas. Why did we put the mask on that? I've had better ideas. I've had better ideas. Why? What good did that do? And the little creature doesn't show up there anymore. Oh, Mural. Engraved into one of the walls was the scene of worship. The object of their adoration looked like a hole in the sky. Can we stab the flower? I stab it a flower! Stab! Stab it! With the obstruction removed, I could hear water flow through the pipes to another part of the building. Hmm. supposed to only be two hours hmm. long. No, don't hmm, just look at it. Just mm hmm. Hey, I think that worked. Hey, what are you doing? Head. That guy's a weirdo. Yeah, you spit us out, monster. Thank you. You? My name is Nina. I'm a friend of your father's. I... I've been out here for a while thinking about how to say this in a way that you'd believe me, but then... But then, about a minute ago, I heard that sound. You've been there, haven't you? To Clonfira. Yes, and I need to get back there. My... You mustn't go back there! It's dangerous! Your father... He was killed! I'm so sorry! He... He... What? Lily! Lily's there! And Clonfira! You have to help me bring her home, please! Oh my god! Come with me! We need to get to my lab! Hurry! Grab my hair! We're going on an adventure. But then he spat me out! He's probably not used to his food poking him with a sword. And then I saw you! Although, you already knew that bit. You're a good listener, like Dougal! Hey, what's your name, by the way? Well, you're like a big bug, so I'm gonna call you Bugsy, okay? So, <laughs> will you help me find my family? Okay, first, let's get out of here. Right. He's Bugsy. Bugsy was definitely too heavy to climb the vine. Oh, climb the vine then. Bugsy, let's I go. I might be able to climb this. Or not. Right. There was a really big squishy flower. Real name is... Weirdo McWeirdyface. That definitely...
definitely wouldn't have worked. Why wouldn't it have worked? I thought about doing that, but decided not to. Let's stab it with a sword then. I thought about doing that. Why are all the good climb spots always out of reach? Bugsy, get up there. Hey Bugsy, give me a boost. Why does she just jump in there? Hey, I'm back where I started! And I've lost my sword! <laughs> we could have just used the doggy door this whole time? Come on then. <sighs> Goddamn doggy door. Can we go up the flower from here? Uh doesn't look like it anyway. Oh look at that thing! It's like a bat squirrel! I hope you're as good at tracking as Dougal is. Hmm, he must have gone into one of these flowers. Pearl, pearl. Okay, Bugsy. Let's go sniff out some burls. Trust me. Smell this. <laughs> Looks like dog overdosed on bones again. This one? Or this one? Wait here! I'll be right back! Okay, I don't have any more crystals of the type Arthur used, but I have this. Wait, why can't we just use that with my father's machine? Because we don't want to blow up the whole countryside. I'll explain when we get to my lab. I'm hoping that I'll be able to send you to Clemfira from here, but they're not going to just let me bring someone into the building. You should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. Just make sure no one sees you. I'll go on ahead and get started. See you soon. Hang on, Lily. I'm on the way. <laughs> the cat was too preoccupied to notice me. Well, let's pull its tail. Hey, did you stop making so much noise? Try to be stealthy. Through the window, I could see there was someone inside. Luckily, he was too busy to notice me. The door was locked. Mm. Of course it was. Mm. Somebody had hidden the key underneath the flower pot. Clever. Very clever.
The door only stayed open for a moment before swinging shut behind the cat. I was gonna have to find another way in. I'm usually a stickler for avoiding fire hazards, but this was for the greater good. What did I do? Why would I do that? What? Hey, kitty. What good did that do? Close My new psychic had left me with a way in. Why would he leave the window? Oh. It looks right I'd made bad. it into the canteen. The worker was still there, facing towards the lift. <sighs> no cats allowed. There was one of those new microwave ovens I'd heard about in the corner of the canteen. The idea of almost instant porridge was attractive, but trying to keep Lily away from it wasn't. <sighs> if I'd known earlier that I'd be standing on a narrow ledge above a hydroelectric dam, I wouldn't have gone out of bed that morning. My sidekick was just waiting for the right signal. <sighs> he sure does have a bird's eye view from up there. Kitty cat, let's go. I'd scared enough animals with the mask for one day. No, we're not done scaring animals. Scared the Boyd. Uh, okay. Ah! Whoa, whoa. It wasn't gonna help me fly, but I figured I could use it for something. Can we go back inside now? My sidekick was just waiting for the right signal. It was hard to tell where the genuine hydroelectric machinery stopped and the experimental tech began. Mm. Nina was waiting for me in her lap. Okay, okay, let's go and meet Nina. Mm. I wasn't ready to leave yet. I like the look of this game for sure. There you are. What took you so long? What? Never mind. I need your help with something. I'm almost ready to go here, but I need something else for this to work. A cavity magnetron should do the trick. The easiest one to get is probably from the microwave, microwave oven upstairs. Oven upstairs. <sighs> I'll finish up here. Let me know when you've got it. I could only imagine catch. what this lab looked like when it also had my father's work scattered around it. The large crystal Nina had shown me earlier was now attached to the palm of another unusual glove. I had to trust that whatever she's going to do with the cavity magnetron was going to help me find Lily. Hang in there, babe. Thanks, marks the spot. Nina's scattered notes reminded me of my father. I could only imagine. I didn't fancy the idea of all those stairs. There's a perfectly good lift nearby. If I will take the lift. I still don't know what this guy's name is though. Sorry, I came to borrow your microwave. Oh hey, Jerry! 
I got the feeling that wasn't his first run in with the calf. I was lucky enough that he already thought I was someone else. I wasn't going to ruin that by striking up a conversation. Name is Brunk. You sure? The microwave oven was in use, but I didn't have time to wait. Bing. It just pulled it out like that. Ay, ay, ay. Somehow, I had broken the lift. I was becoming used to doing things the hard way, at least. How can you break the goddamn elevator? Hey, Brexy, how are you today? At least there's no sign of the bird this time. Oh, but there's a sign with the cat. The cat is about... It's gonna grab your head. Man. Oh. Really, is there no other way to get to her lab than, you know, crossing the whole building? I have to trust that whatever she's gonna do with the cavity. Did he just Wait, slide you, over? This will just take a moment. All right, I followed your father's design as closely as I. Aiden, oh God! Be careful. Now this crystal is different from the others. Much more powerful. With the lesser crystal. I think I just broke the game. Also, it seems his name is Aiden. Give me that. Oh, where am I? <laughs> I broke the game a little bit. <laughs> now I don't know what was wrong with the glove. Granddad! No! <laughs> How do you know it's Granddad? What if someone else called Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> Heimdall's already slept for today. You know, he's not allowed to sleep anymore. Ah, oh, where am I? The enormous door was similar to the entrance of the building Mare had led me to before. I hope that Mento is near. Lily? I like to sleep at night, Lily! but it's Wait. not night in, until like many hours later. Please don't go, someone's farting! There you are! What are you doing here? Come on, we have to get. Lily? She got ah! dissolved by the fart gas. Oh ah! my god, what is this? Ah! Ah! Arthur will be part of Clon Fira forever. And so will you. Bugsy. Bugsy! I thought I lost you too. Maybe it's not too late to save my dad. What? Dad! Granddad! You're okay! Nothing of this makes what? sense. Mommy? What? No! Oh. Why did you make me see that? Hang on, Dad, I'm not leaving you! This is starting to become a bit strange. Let's stab him. That definitely wouldn't have worked. What? Stabbing doesn't work? I thought about doing that, 
but decided not to. Is window stabbing not work? Mm, nope. With a face like that, no wonder he tricks people into seeing something else. I might be able to climb this. Mm, nope. Okay, Bugsy, help me climb Bugsy this. was already doing everything he could to stop the monster eating my dad. <sighs> it was too big for me to use as a weapon. Time to get big, girl. Mm, nope. Like, what do you want, girl? Mm, nope. I might be able to climb this. Hmm. Dad. Dad! Keep him busy for a sec! Hey, you! Big ugly monster! Over here! Look at me! Good job, Bugsy. With a face like that, no. Can we jump stab? I oh, yeah, oh. doing that, but decided not to. Why did you decide not to? That would be like the perfect thing, right? Okay. With a face like Can we go down? Great work, Bugsy. We mm, nope. Daddy, -o, get out of there. Catch me, Dad. I can't. My arms are <clears throat> here are you okay I'm so worried I was looking for you and granddad Lily granddad I know can we go home now wait Mur. he stole the glove we needed to get home come on quick we can't get stuck in this place yay I was finally reunited with Lily as usual she seemed to be handling things better than me a monster which lured its prey by causing them to hallucinate and see what they want to see. I'd be impressed if I wasn't so appalled. Ooh, cooking. Mare, wait! No more waiting! This time, I go! No, Mare! Gotta stop him. Come, daughter of mine, let's stop this Mare. <laughs> Wait right there! We got bugs you though, we fine. Wow, this must be for a really big dog. No Heimdall. Wow. No. Bad Heimdall, bad. Granddad's hat was on the edge of the pool. He must have stopped for a drink. I recognize Grandad's old radio sitting on the floor. I wonder how that got there. I bet Grandad would have loved this thing. Hmm. <gasps> no Heimdall. No, bad Heimdall. Died 
to protect you and this world from me! <laughs> My thanks for undoing his efforts. Go, doggy, go! <gasps> no! Fight him. better than his own ever could. Uh, it's complicated. They left him behind long ago. I suppose he just wants to see them again, even at the cost of hurting other people. He wants to see them again? Maybe I could give him what he wants. Lily, don't do anything. Just stay put. We're not going to stay put, though. We're going to do all <gasps> the things. This glove is now mine. All your gloves are belong to me. I bet Grandad would have loved this thing. Grandad's hat was. He must have stopped. Take the Grandad hat. That definitely wouldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Why don't we take the Grandpa's hat? The answer is still no Heimdall. Bad Heimdall. Cannot nap. You big monster, you owe me. What are we doing? to be alone anymore. What? Why did the dog turn into a puppy?
liked it. It was short and sweet and beautiful. I like the graphics of this game. I mean, it was very short, like... When did I start streaming again? It was two hours, basically. Well, Nina was... Oh. Oh, Dougal. Line goes down. Ba da ba bum. <sighs> yeah, that was that game then. The little acre. Um, I need to take the dog out, and once I've taken the dog out, I will continue with something else, some another game. But I'm going to end the stream before, in like in between, so that I get to cut the videos and stuff. So um, I'll be back in 30 minutes or so if. Anyone still wants to watch me play other games? Um, so Heimdall, you get a 30 minute nap, okay? Okay? Okay. If, if you don't want to wa continue watching my stream then I will thank you very much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time we stream something. Yeah, okay. I'll be back, okay? Bear back, okay, 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 bye. Bear back. <laughs>